Hey guys, it's Dana. I just picked up a new prescription. It's the Retin-A Micro Tretinoin 0.04%. I've been using a benzoyl peroxide gel for 11 years. So I'm going to be switching from this to this and seeing what happens with my skin. I already started to wean off of this like slowly. Uh, every few days I'll just stop using it and I'm gonna start using this and cutting this out. My doctor said that you can use this in the morning and this at night or one or the other but I'm just gonna stick to one. started one week of treatment, if we want to call it that, and I noticed a breakout on my forehead, which is kind of clearing up, and some dryness around my mouth. So right here and here I had this big patch. It was red and peeling, but I read more about tretinoin online and it says to moisturize and then put the tretinoin on top and even to moisturize again. So last night I put this cream on for the first time and then for the daytime I haven't used it yet. I also up my SPF to 60. My moisturizer that I had before was 15. Actually when I first talked to my doctor about getting tretinoin she said yes and then when I went to pick it up it was different which is not the same thing and I thought well, I'll just try it out anyway and it did something similar to tretinoin where if you apply a moisturizer in the daytime it burns a bit, even my makeup was burning and this patch here became like dirty. You could see my pores, even the pores on my nose look so much bigger. So then I went back on benzoyl peroxide to clear up this acne and it did it but then I went to Mexico <laughs> And now I have this huge brown splotch. So the whole reason I wanted to switch was to get rid of this sunspot. So now I'm on this and hopefully it clears that big brown splotch here, this spot, these brown spots, and then I have smaller sun damage here and I'll give you guys a close up. Hey guys, so it's been a month since I started using the prescription tretinoin and I've noticed some dryness around my chin just on this side but my skin's looking super clear. I haven't really noticed the lightening of my sun damage spot um, right here but I feel like that big brown splotch that was barely visible is even less visible now. I do not recommend using these together. I actually don't like this moisturizer at all. I'll just show you guys what happens. This is what my skin looks like. It looks fine. And then I'll put the moisturizer. You'll see what happens. I don't see it. Maybe it, it was just because I had just started using tretinoin and it was all flaky. But then when I put my makeup on it gets even worse. So peely looking. This moisturizer is amazing. It's super hydrating and I'll usually wear it at night and then put this on top and some days I've been skipping tretinoin altogether because in the morning it will burn if I wear moisturizer or foundation. So I've been just building up and not using it every night and that has helped with the flakiness. I have had like a few little hairline pimples and then also I noticed some new kinds of like very under the skin white, I don't know what they call, comedone, like they are under the surface. Usually when I would have like pus on my skin it was like on the surface, now it's like a white mark. It looks like my skin is just white. And I'm a picker, so I squeeze it, which is not good. Hey 
Hey everyone, another month has gone by and I feel like I've seen differences but it's hard to tell because I haven't looked back at the old footage. Maybe it's a placebo effect because I know I'm using this. I think it looks better. I feel like this spot is a bit lighter. This spot above it can barely see and this big splotch is kind of becoming like patchier. It's weird because when I used benzoyl peroxide and I had a white head, I was able to pop it and it would heal pretty quickly. Like, I wouldn't get these big red marks, but with tretinoin, I'm noticing it's, my skin is like a lot thicker. So when I pimp, pimp, when I pimp the pop, when I pop the pimple, it, it leaves a mark and it looks terrible. This is a mosquito bite. I was just out the other night and I think they got me here. This is month three of using tretinoin not wearing any makeup. My skin looks a little oily, but this is without moisturizer. I am still flaking quite a bit. Yesterday, especially on the nose, had a little pimple here. And also had a pimple here that I popped this morning. And I was reviewing the week one versus last month, and it definitely looked darker, probably because I was exposed to the sun. I do wear my SPF and I do wear hats, so I'm trying to stay out, like keep my face out of the sun as much as possible. Yeah, I'll give you guys a closer look in a sec. Hey guys, another month of using tretinoin has gone by. This burn happened yesterday. I did wear sunscreen on my face, but not on my body. I know, I know I should have. The skin is still peeling and flaking off. I've been skipping nights and not applying it because it gets really dry on my chin and my makeup looks terrible. I don't even want to keep using it. I'll have to review this footage against the previous one because I can't really tell if it's getting better or not in the mirror. When I look at it, it looks lighter, but then when I look and compare it to the previous month, it looks exactly the same. So I'm not convinced that this is going to work at all for my sun damage. I didn't notice any difference until the last month and last month is when I made an appointment for the laser procedure that I'm getting and I'm also going to film that so that video will come after this one and once I'm allowed to use it again after the laser treatment I'm going to start using it. I will probably continue to use it for the rest of my life. I think it's good for that and I've heard that it helps with fine lines and wrinkles, so the benefits are just going to continue as I use it. It's not super important to fix these things, but it is important to wear your sunscreen and try to prevent them. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll be getting my laser appointment done in a few days, so look out for that, and thanks for watching. Bye!